Hey everyone, and uh, welcome back to TV Pop Culture. Uh, I apologize for the lateness of this episode. Uh, myself, along with Patrick, were at the uh, Icon Winterfest. For those of you who do not know what Icon is, Icon is the uh, biggest anime convention here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And Winterfest is kind of to help raise money for it, to, you know, get volunteers, like, to get um, voice actors to come in and all this. Uh, but anyways, uh, enough about that. Uh, it's time to get on to some emails. So, we have uh, one email comment from GTV Gamer News for Gamers. And he says, Ace Attorney 5. Sounds interesting, but I'm still waiting for Capcom to announce a new Mega Man game. Oh wait, that's not going to happen. Well, uh, I do agree with you on the fact that Capcom is for some reason under the impression that Mega Man's dead, but whatever, it's Capcom. Um, however, Mega Man was, I believe it was the new Street Fighter game that's coming out? I'm not entirely sure, but I do know he was supposed to appear in like Street Fighter or Soul Calibur V, I, I can't remember which one. Um, but anyways, so, <clears throat> um, that appears to be all that there is for emails this week, which is unfortunate, but it does allow us to move on to news. Uh, so with the Icon Winterfest done now the way, we can now focus on the Winnipeg Comic and Toys Expo, which again is on March 3rd and 4th. With, Spikel, the, with special guest Michael Dorn. Um, on note, I would like to apologize to everyone because I was fed some false information. Uh, the Weekend Pass is not currently available right now, and, however, will be available at the door. So uh, my apologies to everyone about that. Uh, I was misled so I, I fully take responsibility for that. Uh, anyways, uh, let's move on to some gamer news, shall we? So, Sony has rebranded the PSN network to the Sony Entertainment Network, or SEN, which I have to say is probably one of the worst names for a network that I've ever heard. But, you know what, I'm not the guy who's in charge of public relations at Sony. So, yeah. Uh, Skyrim has released a creation kit for the PC. Now, what will this creation kit let you do, you may ask? Well, you can build stuff like buildings, create new spells, new mods, uh, certain things like that. Also, Skyrim has introduced the Space Ball from Portal 2. Uh, for those of you who have not played Portal uh, the space ball is the ball at the end of the Portal 2 game where it, it's the one that's obsessed with space. Uh, Skyrim has also gone some new spells, including a spell that allows you to rain comets down on people, which I have to say is pretty cool. Um, you now also can get a rec room uh, in Skyrim. Uh, so basically, every single house you own there is now a basement added to it where there are uh, several different mannequins, uh, weapon hol weapon hol holsts, shield uh, mountings, uh, display cases, all this fun stuff. So I, I have to say it looks pretty cool. Uh, whether or not the two later uh, articles for the Skyrim game will be out for Xbox, PS3, and the PC is unsure right now, but the Skyrim creation kit for the uh, is only out for the PC uh, as of this moment. Uh, whether or not it will come to Xbox or PS3 is currently in the dark right now. Also, the Skyrim 1.4 patch is now out for the Xbox and PS3, which means less waiting time, so you get to play more of the game, which I think is awesome. I'm sure most other people who have both an Xbox or a PS3 also think that this is really awesome. Uh, 
the new Battlefield map pack has been announced to take place in America. Uh, you will get to enjoy sceneries from New York, San Francisco, and many other states. And in some more disappointing news, Dave Jeffrey uh, is leaving his uh, <clears throat> company, which he helped co-found, Eat, Sleep, and Play. Uh, the company has also made uh, cutbacks and now has a staff count of only 26 members. So this leaves me a little concerned. Uh, Black Light has opened up its new beta for the Xbox and PS3. Um, and Little Big Planet has started to rip off Mario Kart with Little Big Planet Karting, which I'm sure is in no way like uh, Mario Kart, but you know, then again, it's like it, it shows him in a soapbox cart, and it's kind of like, yeah, you're all he needs is a red hat, and you're ripping off Mario Kart. Um, GameStop Valentine's Day promotion has started today and will go until the 18th, which you can save lots of money on exclusive titles such as Assassin's Creed Revelation, Dead Island, and many more. <clears throat> and now on to some uh, general nerd news. Uh, Ronberry.com, the official website for all things Star Trek and Ronberry related, uh, has released the Replica Starship Enterprise D. Uh, this model that I've seen is very articulate and very well done. Uh, the details on it are amazing. It is going for $153 American plus shipping and handling and of course tax. So uh, order at your own discretion. Entertainment Earth uh, has now added Sheldon Big Bang bobbleheads to their inventory, along with the TARDIS icebox. And in anime news, Bandai renews its transforming kanji toys with Battle Line. Uh, now, what are these toys? These toys are a branch off of the Transformers market line, uh, except instead of transforming into animals or vehicles, they transform into kanji letters. Uh, each one of these toys will be going for 158 yen, which in uh, American currency is $2. Uh, that is $2 per toy. Um, they're actually fairly big from, well, okay, depending on what your uh, definition of big is, but they're, for anyone who has any of the old cassette bots from... Uh, from the original Transformers. They're about the same size. And this has just occurred to me. We've actually made it through the entire episode without swearing once. Bravo. Um, so yeah, this is this is a first for us because normally we like swear constantly in this episode. Uh, unfortunately, none of the guys can be here with me today, but don't get angry at them. Uh, we do plan to be at the Toy and Comic Expo come March. Uh, as for whether or not we will be there publicly, we honestly don't know at this point. Uh, but yeah, I am CJ, this is TV Pop Culture, and this is Sunday, February the 12th, 2012. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, and I will, unf and I will see you in two weeks from now. Uh because I will be up in the country working on my car and will not have time to make and record a new episode for this past, for what will be this coming week. So, 